when we're solving either log functions or exponential functions, there's two, there's one main way that you can solve either one, and that's going to be canceling out the bases, whether it be an exponential base or a log base. So it says as long as b doesn't equal 1 and b is greater than 0, if you have two exponential expressions on each side of your equal sign, then if your bases are the same, b to the x power, b to the y power, then x has to equal y because they have the same base and your equal sign tells you that they're equal. The same thing goes for a log base b. If you have log base b of x equals log base b of y, if they're the same base, and then they're saying that the expression x or the expression y have to equal each other, then you can cancel out the logs and say, okay, x equals y, solve if needed. Now the other way of solving an exponential function, so that first method is called equating the exponents, but you can also undo the exponential expression. And when you guys are solving log equations, you can, like the example says, cancel out the logs or undo the log expression. So we'll look at some examples together and then you guys will have to try the remaining ones on your own. So both of these are exponential equations. Now for the first part, this is what we were talking about when we said if the bases are the same, you can say that the exponents are equal to each other. So we can say x minus 2 equals 4x minus 4 and then just go about solving it like a normal equation. So I would subtract my x over and then add 4. Get 2 equals 3x divided by 3. So x would equal 2 thirds. So when the bases are the same, you can equate the exponents or set the exponents equal to each other. So what if the exponents or what if the bases aren't the same? Well, if you look at number two, you want to see can you rewrite either of those bases with a similar base, sort of like when we were rationalizing. Three, we can't write that any smaller, so that will just stay. 3 to the power of 3x minus 6, but 9 squared, or 9 we can rewrite as 3 squared, and then you keep the exponent of x minus 2 on the outside. So what happens then is we can cancel out that base of 3, and that 2 you're going to distribute to the power, because remember, power to a power you multiply. So we'll end up with 3x minus 6 equals 2x minus 4. And you just solve it like you normally would. So subtract 2x and add 6. And we get x equals positive 2. So that is one method equating the exponents or canceling out the base when they are the same. The second method of solving an exponential equation is undoing the exponential part. Now before we can undo the exponential part, we have to get the exponential part by itself. So if you guys look at 10, 11, and 12, the 4 to the power of x minus 6 is what's being raised to power. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. So now this becomes 4 to the power of x minus 6 equals 27 over 3, which is 9. Now that the only part on the left-hand side is the exponential part, we can undo it. So when we bring that 4 over, it goes from being a base for an exponent to being a base for a log. So x minus 6 would equal log base 4 of... Nine. Now, our, the whole reason we use that change of base formula was just for situations like this. When it's not a perfect number, like log base 3 of 9 would equal 2. 3 squared is 9. We don't know 4 to what power equals 9. We have no idea. 
So we're going to use our change of base formula and say that x minus 6 equals the natural log of 9 divided by the natural log of 4. And whether you use natural log or the log button, they're both a base of 10. That's what the natural log is. So either one will work. So when we do this, log base or natural log 9 divided by natural log 4, you get 1.58 about. And then all you do is add your 6 over. So x would equal 7 0.58. So that's how you would undo your exponential part of your equation. That's the second method for solving exponential equations. So if you look at number 11, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to undo that too because at this point there's nothing other than the exponential part on that left hand side. So this will now become 2x minus 5 equals log base 2 of 11. So, use your change of base formula and find out what natural log of 11 divided by natural log of 2 is. And it looks to be about 3.46. And then you just solve it like a normal equation. So you you would add the 5, so 2x equals 8.46, and divide by 2. So x is about 4.23. And remember, you guys can plug these right back in to the equation. Now, it might be like a tenth or a hundredth off because we rounded the decimals when we were finding our answer. But you can always put them back into your equation and check, do they make the equation true? And then number 12. Same thing, e is the part being raised to the power, so that's the part we want to undo. But first, we have to divide both sides by 4. So that will give us then e to the power of x squared equals 64 divided by, divided by 4, which is 16. We're going to undo the e, just like we've undone any other base. We just have to remember that when we do that, the inverse or opposite of an exponential expression with base e is the natural log. So we'll have natural log of 16. That's it. Type in ln of 16, natural log of 16, and you guys should get 2.77. And then you just take the square root of both sides. Remember when we take the square root, positive and negative value, about 1.67. So that's it. So when solving for exponential equations, your options are to undo the base and turn it into a log equation to solve it, or to equate the exponents by making the bases the same so you can set the exponents equal to each other.